Hello, friends and family. Let me start my engine up. Oh, yeah. So, this is the base game Gavril D. It's decent at off roading. And today, we're gonna do an off roading challenge. There are ooh, 28 cars in the game. And uh, I'm going to do a random number generator for 26 of them. So I'm going to be excluding the bus and the 18-wheeler. Because um, the editing options for those are pretty lackluster. So you can't really do much. But if I get something like, say, the pigeon, I'm going to have fun trying to make it off-road capable. Uh, no mods, so no, like, special modified suspension or anything. It's just whatever I can put on the car. And it's not a super ultra scientific test. It's more or less just to see how far it gets and how well it handles and stuff. It's not necessarily a time thing or a competition or anything like that. It's just... Ooh, that didn't sound good. Ooh, that didn't sound good at all. I might have stuck in it. Like a fool. Alright, let's, uh... Oops, not what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, let's just force on through there. Oh, yeah. I like how uh, damaging the exhaust changes the sound so drastically. You immediately knew when it happened. Put it back on high. Oh, it sounds meatier now. I like it. Yeah, it's just a run through the course. Uh, see as well as it do. Nothing particular. This is just the base starter Gavril D for kind of a comparison. You know, good old fashioned truck. I can do what I can do, you know. It ain't terrible. Lost my rear bumper. It's okay, you don't need it. Front bumper's a little, you know, angled, but it's a tactical angle, helping you get over bumps. I really don't see much a need for this test. Ah, I'm gonna just see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go as far as I can go, if I can make it all the way to the end or not. Unless I get a very good number, I am SOL. Because I, <laughs> I might not be able to get even half as far. I get something pretty, pretty bad, whether it be small, like the pigeon, or something that you don't really have off-roading modifications, like the uh, the off-brand Camaro thing. I don't, I don't know the correct name. Ooh, came in there a little hotter than I should have. I'm near the end, so that's good enough for me. Just jump over that. Yeah, who needs any of that? And. All right, we survived, actually. Parking brake on, we survived, surprisingly enough. Minor scuffs and dings, you can tell why the, you get off-road bumpers. <laughs> Cause those are the part that got dinged up the most. Um, and, you know, the exhaust, RIP. Or did it break? I, I cannot see any problems. I'm not a mechanic though, so who cares? Sounds better now though. Hold it. To our number generator. Alright, so we got our number generator pulled up. 26. Generate. Number 6. So car number 6. Let's see what that is. Alright, so they recently... Uh, there was a new update here recently, so we got an entirely new menu, so that's fun. Car number 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's actually... Not bad, and there's no real much variations, so I'll just use the basic as the template for our hopefully soon to be off roading beast. You know, first things first, let's change the color immediately. Green, just make it nice green. Actually, military mat, mat, military. Oh, uh, it's probably not factory for this specific vehicle. I'm an idiot. So if that's the case, I'll go ugly yellow. If I can't have a good color. Paint design. Ooh. 
Rally. Perfect. Done. Empty. Don't need it. The rear, that other thing. Empty. Don't need it. Get out of here. Nah. Empty. Don't need it. Radiator. Let's get a sports one if available. High performance. No need for the ultra high. Roll cage. Definitely. Strut bar. Sure. I'm not actually sure what that does. I think it makes stuff shake less. Door panel. Get rid of it. We don't need that. Can we get a fender flares? Real question. Oh, but we can do mud flaps. Hell yeah, why wouldn't you have a mud flap? We'll do the engine. Let's make it a slightly beefier, but not over the top. Heavy duty. Heavy duty, not ultra heavy. Suspension! Ah, sweet, there's a rally one for us, so that's gonna make it a lot easier. Some nice big boy wheels, we can get some big boy tires. Looking good. Looking very good. What can we do with the tailgate here? I just realized I only took out one of the side glasses. Oops. So far so good, looking very nice and nice. Tuning. So let's just uh, go really simple, just increase the height, don't touch anything else because we don't know what we're doing. Uh, make the wheels nice and offset, don't touch anything else, don't know what we're doing. Oh, I think that will be that. Um, uh, I don't know what to call it. Um, banana split. Ba na 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 na. Split. That is not split. I misspelled everything. I got very lucky with the car. It's one that already had some semblance of off roading options. So I just had to hopefully stick good ones together. Woo! And now she should drive pretty decent. Assuming that I am not a shitty driver, which I am, but assuming I don't mess up things and do bad, should make it at least, I'd say at least up to those weird orb things without too much issue. I just, I, I just don't see a future where something this, this small or this low will be able to get over those orb things right there. But, you know, who knows? Not being front-wheel drive would be pretty handy. I think it's front-wheel drive, I could be wrong. Ooh. Oh, nothing too bad. So far. Nothing, nothing's breaking too horrible. Oh, that was too fast. Way too fast. Oh, that's the kind of... Yeah, that's that's the kind of mistakes I'm talking about. Okay, let's... let's uh. All right, let's just save the car. Not repair it entirely, though. Just fix it, right it. See if we can. See if we can. Uh... Ooh, front wheel drive is awkward. Ugh. See if we can uh, hopefully get over this together. Obviously. Hmm. I think I just realized something. I completely forgot to change the uh, tread. So, uh, uh, I should have put better treads on this, but I forgot that, so I'm just going to call it good. Because, honestly, I've made it past all the hard tread part. So, I th I really don't think it would have helped our performance much. I am quite satisfied. Oh, I went too fast again, like an idiot. This thing is just so small, it just zooms on that turbo hits, man. It's awesome. Alright. I am very impressed we made it this far. But this is as far as I think this is gonna get. Because these these divots are very... Yep, already high-centered. Immediately. Can I... No, 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 no. I don't think I'll be able to pull this off. No. Yep, there we go. That was a little a little subpar, I do think so. Like, we just we got a really I say we, I don't know why. I got a really good car out of luck. Oh, too fast again. And so it wasn't the worst of challenge. 
those. I basically was given a rally-ish car and made a rally-ish car. That's that's really all I did today. So I guess this is the banana split. It's just a rally car, basically. Not much of an off-roader, but, you know, I think you can't really do much more than this with the limited uh, choice. It's more or less just gonna be a rally car, unless with just how small the car is and how low it is. That's that's more than... It's too small, I mean. It's too small to be any form of, like, off-road. But it, it did good. Even with just random tires on because I'm stupid. Too fast. Speed is a big issue. Go... Maybe... Maybe... Go slower. That helped a lot. And then I'm gonna mess with the tires just for the hell of it. Tire oh my god, look at that. Uh, those are some tires right there. Now that's an off-road tire. That is gonna do me any good, though. I've been, you know, not much of an off-roader. But, and you know, like, I am getting a lot better grip, though. Oh, what the hell? Why did that come up? What? Get out of here. Wow, it is actually... It is loving this. Too fast again. Oh, I, I didn't expect the fire. <laughs>